So part C is where this question gets weird because they come up. So uh, all this function here is for h is less than 30, right? The height only for your depth is less than 30. Even you're using h for depth. That's another weird thing. And then they come up with this other function, u of h. And um, what we know is that f of h, was, which is, let's see, there's a function. Oh, f of h is uh, for h greater than or equal to 30. So what happens is you have this function p of h until you get to 30. And then after 30, we've got f of h. So this is a piecewise function describing the density. It's still describing the density. All right, so now... So our first questions, our first two questions were about um, h being less than or equal to 30. Now we're going h is greater than or equal to 30. So now we got to worry about this function f of h, which they didn't even tell us what it was. So all they're going to do is tell us that whatever that f of h is, it's less than some u of h. And um, then they're going to tell us what this u of h is. It, it tells something about the u of h, which is the integral from 30 to infinity is 105, all right? So what, however they got that information, um, it's kind of funny looking because it looks like it says, duh. It's kind of like what I feel looking at this problem and why they conceived of it this way. Who thought of this? Anyway, uh, this is the information they give us. So then they say, um, write an expression involving one or more integrals that gives the number of plankton cells in the entire column. So that the column, meaning uh, this column is now k meters deep, where k is greater than 30. All right, so now we wanna know how many plankton there are. In our part B, we got how many plankton there are up to 30 meters. Now we're gonna say, if you go past 30 meters, we're gonna to go to k, which is past 30 meters, and just get an integral, since we don't know what f is, we're just gonna get an integral using the f that can that expresses the number of plankton um, in that column. All right, so now instead of p of 30, we're looking at p of k, where k is greater than 30. So um, one thing that we can say is that since we know we know the integral from 0 to 30, that's how many plankton to a depth of 30, and then we've got something about um, for 30 and higher, we have this bit, and we have k equals 30. So how, what can we do is, is break this up and say, so it's going to be, first of all, this part, which is 3 times the integral from 0 to 30 of p of h dt, and then plus the integral from uh, 3 times the integral from 30 to k of p of h dt. So I actually already have an integral involving, uh, I'm sorry, this one should be f because after after um, h equals 30, uh, we are using the function f for h greater than or equal to 30. So this one should be uh, f of h, not p of h. All right, so we've already got an integral involving two or more, one or more integrals, an expression involving one or more integrals that gives the number of plankton at a depth of k. And notice we, we had to have the three in both cases because it says um, the column of water in part b, which has this three square meter area. So we still have the threes like we had up here, so we have for each of these parts. All right, so basically what we're saying here is the number of plankton at depth k is equal to the number of plankton at depth 30 plus however many there are from 30 to k. Now, just to write the integral, we don't have to know what f of h is. We don't have to know what the integral of it is. You, you could um, be sort of nice and say, look, I already knew that 3 times integral 0 to 30 was 1675, so I can replace this bit with 1675 and then plus 3 times the integral from 30 to k of f of h and this really should be dh, f of h, dh. Both of these should be dh. It should all be dh because the integral is h. All right, so um, that's our expression. Now, the next weird thing that they want us to do is um, explain why the number of plankton cells is less than or equal to 2,000 2, million or 2 billion, right? So um, they're, they're not asking us what the value is, but they're saying less than, and we have these expressions of things that are less than. We know that um, f is less than u, and we know that k is less than infinity, right? So um, that means that this integral is less than or equal to 1675 plus um, 3 
times uh, the integral, that's a funny three. I'm just like looking at things and writing things at the same time. Uh, three times the integral from um, 32 infinity of f of h dh, right? So the integral from 30 to k is going to be less than the integral from 30 to infinity. And then we can say uh, that that is less than or equal to 1675 plus 3 times the integral of 30 to infinity. Since uh, f of h is less than u of h, we can say this is less than the integral of u of h dh. And now I've got myself to something that I know about, which is that I know that the integral from 30 to infinity of u of h is 105. So that means that this value is um, less than or equal to, so this one's actually equal to this one, but P of K is less than or equal to um, 1675 plus 3 times 105. Uh, which equals 1675 plus 315, uh, which equals 1990, which is less than 2000. Therefore, uh, P of K is less than 2000 million cells. All right, so it was a little tricky, but the idea is to break up that integral um, from 30 to K. I mean, really, we could let me just put that part in. Right, yeah, we could put above here that P of K is equal to 3 times the integral from 0 to K. Eh, we can't do it because the two are two different functions. I was going to try and write this as a single integral. You really can't. So P of K is equal to the integral from 0 to 30 of P of H plus the integral from 30 to K of F of H. Both of those multiply by 3. We know a value for this one. We don't know a value for this one, but essentially we know a bound on it. K is less than infinity. F is less than U, therefore um, this expression is less than this expression, and this one we knew a value for is 105. We work it out and we get something that is less than 2000, which is what we were supposed to explain. So we have in fact explained why that number of plankton cells is less than 2000 million.